Hey everybody, it's David here from Team Ultra Instinct bringing you the new Battle Enhanced expansion. Uh, I finally just got it from my locals today. Uh, we're going to open them up. Uh, we're going to show off the new cards and then we're going to crack some packs and show off the dice, of course. I already pre-opened my two. I only got two because I only need the playset of the new cards, but we got our dice. And I'm a big fan of these in person. I wish they were a little bit smaller, like I was saying in the last video. And I made sure to correct it in this video for the uh, way the footage is laid out. But uh, I like the dice. And yeah, it, a little bit smaller would have been nice, but I'm okay with it. I, I'll survive. Uh, so we got our new cards here. I guess I can go through them this time. Uh, if I can figure out. There's this tab. So, we got five new cards out of this expansion. We get Mira, Dimensional Superpower. It says, this card can't attack if it has two or fewer markers on it. You may choose one card in your hand and send it to the warp. If you do, draw one card. And then, as minus two activate battle is for each card in your warp, this card gets 5k power for the battle. So, this is mostly an offensive one. You're not going to be using it defensively, because you'll never have a defense step for him. Uh, but that's the first one. I kind of see his foiling it's not like super standout as you can see it with the lighting but nothing insane uh then we get gogeta time for payback this is good for the gogeta deck he has unique blocker his union fusion is draw one card and then you need a red sun goku br and a red vegeta br and then his activate main is three red and then you need or if your leader card is a red gogeta br and you have four or more energy uh, choose up to one mono red Gogeta BR with an energy cost of eight or less from your deck or hand. Play it on top of this card and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. And then you can't activate uh, use his activate main on any other copies of it for the turn. So the next turn you can do it again. But they just don't want you to be able to do it twice in a turn. So then on to the next one. This is the one I mainly want to work around with. Uh, I actually kind of like the foiling on him. Uh, you can't really see it too well in the camera, but... He is great for the Vegeta deck, uh, built for the Vegeta GT deck. And he is a 4-drop blocker. If your leader card is a blue Vegeta GT card, and you have 4 or more mono blue energy, when this card is played, draw one card, and then if you don't have a unison card in play, play up to one Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku Protector of Earth from your deck or hand with 3 markers on it, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. And then his auto is, if you have a blue unison card in play with two or more markers on it at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. So he doesn't have to pair with that unison, but he's nice getting a unison out when you play him if you don't have a unison. And honestly, that unison's pretty good if you can cheat him out. Then we have the Majin Buu Malice Distilled. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's not bad. When this card is played, add up to one green Majin... Majin card. Sorry, I thought it said Majin Buu. The energy cost of seven or less from your deck to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So it's good for getting your pieces out with just using him. And then this is great for the Garlic Jr. deck. Uh, he is a unique indestructible, and he is a 3-drop, so that means he's a target for the 9 or 5-drop, whatever the SR is. I, I don't use the deck. I don't remember all the cards from it. But he has an auto, pay 1 yellow. If your leader card is a yellow Demon Clan card, and if it's your turn, when one of your yellow Demon Clan cards is removed from your battle area by a skill, play this card from your hand. Switch this card to rest mode, and when you activate an Overlord skill... Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. So, not bad. Uh, it's good for the deck and rushing out the big monster for the deck. And then we're going to get back into the packs. So we got three packs from each expansion. So let's hope we get something solid out of here. Got my sleeves off to the side in hopes that we get something good. Uh, but I don't have my hopes too high. So we're starting right out with a... Broly leader card. It's water, Super Saiyan Son Goku, Mira, Yamcha, Garlic Jr., Vegeta, Saiyan Youth, Bob, Broly's first friend, Planet Tuffle. And then we have Dabora, King of the Demon Realm, in foil, and he's just a common. And then an Ice Shenron, the Cryomancer. I actually think he is my first one. I like it. I like Ice Shenron. I hate the Sin Shenron deck, but I like Ice Shenron, so I ain't complaining about it, and especially if that's my first one. Very nice. Very nice. I'll leave him right there. We got a little bit of a glare how I had him. Let's see if we can get a second SR on this one. We did in the last video the last time we got it, but uh, 
We'll see if we do here. Jita, Seven Star Ball, Gravy, Majin Buu, Energy Field, Super Saiyan Son Goku, Jihilai, Son Goku, Gogeta, Paragus, Super Water of the Gods, and Final Explosion. Not a great pack. Not a card I wanted to get in foil. But it's what I got. And then on to the last pack from that expansion. Got Vegeta, Goku, Fidel, Trunks, Gasu, Mr. Boo, Son Goku, Baby, Gotenks. I'll take it, a foil rare. We got the Majin Boo rare in foil. Looks pretty nice, honestly. And Broly, I think this is my second copy of it. I didn't buy any singles for it, and I didn't pull a lot in the uh, two or three boxes that I got. But I'm actually going to sleeve up that Majin Buu. So this is a set I'm glad I'm opening a lot more of, because I didn't, well, I say a lot more, but these packs, I didn't open as much as I did of Rising the Unison Warrior. But I bought a lot of singles, just not all the singles I need. Let's get the other die. And then let me pull out the packs. And, and of course, we're going to have those promo cards in here, or the expansion cards, which are right here. I'm not going to open that pack. And then we're just going to open these up. I like to take my time going through some packs if there's not many, just so we can look at them. Especially since I, I really did like this set, I just didn't delve too deep into it. Oob. Bobbity. Devilman. Piccolo. Son Gohan. Har Haru. Final Shine. That's a card I like. I actually really like Final Shine. Uh, it's just a nice negate. Pitch one, draw two. A two specified blue. And especially since I play a lot of mono blue decks. Lemo. Baby. Foil Paragus, that's a good one to get. And a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Unstoppable Evolution. I think this is my fourth one. I'm not 100% sure, but that's nice for me. I like those Super Saiyan 3 Zeno cards. Zeno cards. We're looking for SPRs. Uh, Ice Shenrons, and Broly Secret Rare, if we can get that. But past that, I don't really need anything except for good foils. Lemo, Garlic Jr. So this is what we were talking about. Um, so he is the 5-drop. I couldn't remember what his cost was. He's a unique, indestructible critical. His EX Evolve is 1 yellow. And then goes on top of a Garlic Jr. with an energy cost of 3, which is what this new expansion one is. And that's why it's really nice. And then he has Overlord, which if you don't know what Overlord is, it's basically you place a card with the Servant skill that's on your battle area to the bottom of your deck and you draw a card. But it's once per turn here. Activate Main is once per turn. If your leader card is a yellow Demon Clan card, look at the bottom card of your deck. If it's a yellow Demon Clan card with an energy cost of 2 or less, you may play it. Otherwise, return it to the bottom of your deck. So you still get on play autos with it, assuming that they're viable autos. So this is pretty nice. You just use Overlord and then play it right back. Uh, solid, though. It's good that the deck got a boost, because initially it's just it was slow. And this helps to speed it up to at least establish that out. Especially since people want to be able to play the uh, new, or the Garlic Jr. SR. All right, we got the last pack here. Let's hope we can get something good. I'm looking for a Vegeta Super Combo as well in blue. But if I don't get it, I'm just going to end up buying it. Zoldo, 3-star, Mira, Bulma, Son Goku, Paragus, Baby, Foil Bola, and a Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku, Energy Annihilator. I like the card, it's just 7 energy, and yeah, it works in the Vegeta deck, but he is, when this card is played, your opponent places one of their energy at the bottom of its deck, and then at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. And then your opponent chooses one of their battle cards and one of their energy and places them at the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. So get rid of two of your opponent's energy and then have a 7-drop unique blocker that can restand to one time. So, not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not just one time. It's every turn at the end of your turn. Switch them to active mode and keep doing that. That's pretty brutal. 
I didn't even realize that. I didn't look too in-depth on this card. I may have to slot that into the deck. That's not bad if it sits there. You just gotta hope that you can ramp fast enough with Vegeta. Um, I may tech it in. That's all we have. Uh, nothing too crazy. Yellow SRs for us, huh? So we got the Garlic Jr., Ice, and then a rare Majin Buu foil. So, this one's really clean, actually. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, I like this one. Even though I don't play the deck, it still looks really nice. Glad I got that, so this wasn't a total letdown, but hope you guys did enjoy this. And uh, I made sure to fix the orientation I had recorded it on. And hope you guys did enjoy once again, and hope to see you in the next video. Take care.